Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Excel 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to insert rows and columns. Let's get started. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to show you here is how to insert rows and columns using the ribbon, and then I'm going to show you uh, using a different method as well as how to insert multiple cells and rows. Let's get started. Uh, right here is the Home tab. If you go to the Cells group, you're going to see this Insert button and the Insert arrow. I don't ever use the Insert button, but sometimes I'll use the Insert arrow and this will allow you to uh, insert uh, rows or columns and right here we see insert rows keep in mind that I have cell C3 active right now and if I insert rows you'll see that it creates a new row 3 so whenever we create rows the rows are created right on top of our active cell if I go back up here and click on this and I click columns columns are uh, created just to the left of our active cell so you'll see that rows will be put above, columns will be put on the left. Now, as I said at the beginning, I don't really use the ribbon up here to insert rows or columns usually. Usually what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll just do a control Z a couple times to get it back to how it was. If I know that I want to insert a column, I'll just go up to the column that I'm interested in, like this one here, column C. And if I know that I want it to go in between column B and C, then I'm going to right click on C. Remember because columns always uh, are created to the left. So I right click on C and I go to insert. And it inserts to the left exactly as I expected. And then if I want to insert a new row, I'll go right over to the 3 and I'm going to right click on that and go to insert. And it inserts above just like we expected. So those rules apply um, no matter if you're um, creating using the ribbon or creating using the right click method on the uh, columns or rows. Remember columns always create to the left, rows always create on top. Alright, so I'm going to undo both of those changes that I just did and now I'm going to show you how to create multiple columns uh, at the same time. And so if I wanted to create two columns at once, I'll go right up here to say B and C. I'll highlight both of those. I'll right click and go insert. And just as we expect, they are created to the left. And you'll see there, they are now created. And there was two of them created this time. The reason for that is, again, I went up and highlighted two at once. And then I right clicked and went to insert. And it creates two. You can do this with as many as you want to. So if I wanted to create uh, four, I just highlight those four. Knowing that they're going to insert to the left, right click, insert. And now we see that they're inserted to the left. All right. Uh, next up is rows. If I know that I want to create five new rows right above the name Martinez, I'm going to uh, click and drag from three down to seven. Okay, so there's my five rows. I right click, I go to insert, and it's going to create those five new rows right there. So you could actually do this on a pretty large scale, and I'll show you that right now. Uh, let's say that I have these salespeople here, and I know that, and I'm just copying and pasting them. I know that I want to create about 20 new salespeople or uh, rows for salespeople. I could just go right here and go from 3 to about 23. Right click, go to insert, and now you'll see all that space there is now available for me. So that's how we would do it um, if we wanted to create multiple at once. So hopefully this uh, video has taught you a little bit more about uh, how to create a new row or new column in Excel as well as how to create multiple rows and columns in Excel. If this video has been helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, please put it in the comment section below and I'll do my best to help you out. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.